Hi, Stitcher. Hi. Hi. Keisha. I'm Laura. I'm Katie. And welcome to the Pattern Queen Special Extra. This is part of the Halloween Stitch Along, sponsored by Stitching with Friends. So mm -hmm. it's Halloween 13 SWF. Everything is spelled out. I put it in the title every single time, too. Yes. And it's popping up uh, when we when we post the uh, screen. Mm -hmm. And what's fun is that Athena took a picture of that and said, that's my channel and posted it <laughs> in her stories on Instagram. So, but we're enjoying doing our stitching. Yes, very much so. It's forcing me to stitch because my brain is, I have the kind of brain that's like, okay, what can I work on now to get stuff done for the businesses? And it's right. forcing me to be like, no, take an hour and actually put some stitches in. Right, right. That's good. And just as a little aside here, Katie and I were out today. Today is Jeff's birthday. So we were out shopping today and uh, rather than wait on packaging and stuff to come in, we just bought some packaging and it's sitting right over there. So I should be getting most, if not all of the um, chart winners packages out. Ooh, awesome. Just in time for stay inside season. Yes. <laughs> so they're going to get a, a weird assortment of packages. So okay. that's cool though. I just keep <laughs> because I realized that I'm like focusing super hard on stitching right now because I'm still in the middle of my hour to get to put into this piece so I'm trying to stitch through gotta stitch when you can gotta stitch when you can I have resting stitch face <laughs> <laughs> that was good yes we'll have to remember that for Saturday's episode and that's what we'll call it okay right stitch face yes it will become a thing we're gonna make it a hashtag what do you think yes put it on yes. something on re in retreat in a box. oh there you go i don't know what it'll be but we'll have <laughs> so <laughs> you guys can comment below be the first to know about this what do you want to see what item do you want to see that says resting stitch face i feel like a sleep mask would be really appropriate but i don't know <laughs> if that's what i want to put it on <laughs> <laughs> That would be good. So yes. yes. Okay, let's talk the stitching. Keisha, okay. what have you been up to? Well, I have a finish actually. Oh, so, wow. um, I have been working on look Wait, at you being is. all coy over there. I know. I didn't tell you guys. I know what I, this I is. I think though. I know what this is. <laughs> so I've been working on October 31st from Rona Nori. It's in this year's just cross stitch issue. And I finished it. Oh, awesome. uh -huh. now it, it calls for some beads in the eyes of the spider, but I like that it's all monochromatic. So I don't think I'm going to add beads to it. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And this is just stitched on a scrap of Heartland from Picture This Plus. Oh, the spider web is so, so good. Oh, thank you. Lots of straight stitches, lots of counting, probably some errors in counting, but I don't care. I like it. Those so are the kinds of that. things that I feel like you never really have errors in them. Yeah. I mean, every spider web's different, right? Right. So anyway, easy. that's my finish. Um, which means I needed to pick a new work project. Um, and uh, close your ears if you don't want to hear a little bit of Keisha TMI. I told Katie this the other day. I don't usually get um, stitching time at work. Um, the reason why I have work stitching time is I'm a working mom who needs to pump every once in a while to bring food home for my baby. So that's when I'm getting the stitching time at work. And I'm like, here I am with something called Boobies Apiary. Why have I not been using that project this whole time? <laughs> so that's what I worked on. I finished um, October 31st yesterday. So I worked on Boobies Apiary today. Oh, so cute. I love this one. And I got in all of the black oh. lines there. That looks so good. Thank you. You're and I, I'm so jealous. <laughs> it's still it's in the hoop, but I 
I finished the bottom part. So I'm just working on the top part here. Awesome. So um, that's my new work project because it seemed appropriate and I can't believe I didn't think of it sooner. Oh my gosh, you're kicking our butts, Michelle and I. <laughs> well, now I have a dedicated and funny time to do it. <laughs> you both are kicking my butts because I've had no finishes and y'all have had at least one apiece. And then um, I started working on yes, yesterday, no, day before yesterday, I started on a candy a day from the Frosted Pumpkin. And this is also in this year's Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. We love that one. Mm -hmm. And this is where I am on it. Oh my gosh, look at you. Okay. I see an eyeball peeking up. Yes. Your lighting. Huh? I'm trying to decide if it's your lighting or if it's just how the picture came out. Your purple looks a lot more like blue purple than the magazine to me. Um, it's the lighting, and it might even be the because the fabric that this that's called for picture this plus splash is a little bit more green toned. Mine is definitely more of a pastel blue. This is um summer sky. I I can't remember the name of it. It's one of it's a Fabric of the Month from Color and Cotton, and it's a 32 count Lagana. It's like a light blue with a little bit of darker blue kind of thrown in there. Well, yeah, the, the piece that you had to choose because your piece here disappeared. <laughs> yeah, so tell that story. Oh my gosh. So, okay, we hung, we, well, we ended the, the filming um, a few days ago and we, we stayed on the phone and chatted with Keisha and while we're on the phone, mom is like, oh, you need to do this immediately. Otherwise you're going to forget to bring Keisha her piece. I was like, I'm already on it. And I had already pulled out the scissors and I was measuring and I, I cut the piece in half and I chose which one I wanted. And I had the other one ready to go. And I have no idea what happened to the piece for Keisha. I put mine inside the magazine to keep it separate from yours. Right. But yours just disappeared. And I, I did not move from this spot until I went back to my room later that night. And we have, um, both of us have gone through this whole sofa and there's no way I can get like into the nooks and crannies because we have a cover over the sofa. So mm -hmm. it can't even like she's be under pulled, pillows. All, yeah. So most of the pillows are down while yeah. we film. Yeah. But she's gone through all the pillows and. I've gone through my stitching bag. I've gone through my travel bag just in case, you know, without thinking I put it in there for you. I've, I've looked under the sofa. It has well and truly <laughs> vanished. <laughs> it's okay. You'll find it once I finish it. You'll be like, oh, I found it. <laughs> it'll be fine you'll find it some random day <laughs> and this one is by frosted the frosted pumpkin, the frosted pumpkin. yes yeah. so so that's all that i've worked on in the past few days so i'm going to spin my wheel and see what i'm going to work on until saturday's video Ooh, so let's see a new star i think like you're making excellent progress on it though but it's not a mysterious Halloween town. <laughs> How many times did you put that one on the wheel? Uh, well, it put everything on the wheel twice. So it's the same odds as everything else. <laughs> it just really wants you to work on that one. But I know Keisha really wants to start the frosted pumpkin one with the, the dressed up candy corn costume contest. It's okay. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's fine. <laughs> gosh okay miss kate you're up i have one more stitch hold on guys one stitch <laughs> um so i too am working on a candy a day keeps uh keeps the monster away and i just have to pull my thread through and i need to make sure i'm doing it the right way there we go okay so i had not gotten a chance to stitch until like an hour less than an hour before we started filming. So this is as far as I've gotten and I'm doing mine in over dye. So not over dye, in um, dyed thread. So my horn is actually not striped like yours, Keisha, like wow. the pattern. I just uh -huh. used um, a thread works. It's well, well, it's actually needle necessities before they were thread works. Oh, okay. That just changes a lot because I decided, to, cool. I just decided to kit mine up with the thread that I had and I right. couldn't find 
two colors that I liked for the horn that mm -hmm. showed up well on this fabric. Gotcha. So I just decided to do my own thing for that one. That's really the thread that has the biggest difference, I think, mm -hmm. on here. It looks super cool. So mine's going to be unique. Yeah. And are you continuing with this one or are you moving on to something else? I'm going to move on to something else, but I don't know what yet. Um, oh, she's getting her back. Well, here's the thing. So um, we'll, we'll say this on Saturday too, but mom and I got stash. Um, we got stash in the mail tonight that corresponds with a purchase earlier this week. And I can't believe it's already here. Um, here, I'll show you this much. <laughs> That's exciting, right? We so got, now you're having, I want to start a brand new, brand new thing. <laughs> um, so the primitive hair came out with new patterns mm -hmm. and um, the, we bought, you, you had to buy the big cut of the dark spell. Dark, yeah. Singular dark spell open fabric. It, it. You can, um, you had to buy a big piece of it. You couldn't buy the original small piece of it to fit. So, um, the piece that we got is a, like this way to Halloween, I think is the name of the chart. She's on break. Otherwise I would look it up. Um, <laughs> her Etsy shop is now on break. Oops. Oh. Yeah. And you want to help wow. it because it's, it's so no, wrinkly. No, because. You're going to show it. Yeah. Okay. Um, she does have the piece. And I don't know. I feel like maybe it's going to go like this. Yeah, it's vertical. It smells so good. It smells like coffee. So, okay, so I mean, you probably should start whatever goes on that because that looks awesome. <laughs> so this is the pattern. Oh. Yeah, the start that. Start that, Katie. So I, we we have to go to a cross stitch shop anyway tomorrow. Uh huh. So I might be buying some thread and and we might uh -huh. I might start this because I really want to start so this so bad good. yeah Katie, just start it just start it <laughs> I had do a, it I had do the it. Sales, which is pulled for a primitive hair piece for Halloween but I think I'm going to switch it out to this um so it and the signs I don't know if you guys could see the signs are for Salem Sleepy Hollow Flying School Sanderson House Ghost Crossing, Halloween Town, and Dead End. So it's really good. We may both have to buy buy thread. Floss. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but I got the pattern this week um, and downloaded it and so excited. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I did not stitch on Halloween Fairy. I think I said that. <laughs> That's she really doesn't want to work on Halloween fairy. Yeah. So <laughs> instead, I pulled out my paranormal sleeve. Look at those cats. Nice. Isn't that funny? And inside, it looks like Splat the Cat <laughs> on orange. It's so funny. But anyway, I pulled out Witch by Sub Rosa and I posted my start. And the exciting thing for me is that I posted it on Instagram. And she commented on my post. That's always exciting. I found a piece of what I'm pretty sure is 32 count flapper from Picture This Plus. Uh huh. I couldn't oh, stop. Wow. It's done. I love. Wow. It. I just. <laughs> I couldn't. I was like, can it? Do I have it close? Uh, yes. Put it all in the frame. Yeah. Okay. Um. I just couldn't stop. I loved it. Now, somebody commented and said, oh, I tried to do that and I just couldn't. And it was, I mean, I got the idea they were stressed. So I'm going to say that just because of the orientation of my fabric, I wanted to make sure I started in the center. So I actually put in, I got to see where this is. One, two. The center is like right here. And mm -hmm. I put in that one little down stitch down there. And then... Um, moved up and did the, the solid border right above it just to the end. And I left that because it was a good marker and I moved up and went ahead and did the little bush. So mm -hmm. that made a great place, a great jumping off place 
to work right. on anything else in the piece. Right. It's tiny. It's so tiny. It is. It's little. It looks so good. Thank you. And I, you know, I was uber happy because I was working on purple. And as much as I like purple, I don't stitch on it very often. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I have to, I have well, to have a bigger the variety. Perfect piece. I feel like a lot of things are charted on neutrals and I feel like sometimes it it's a little harder for your brain to go, I could shift this to a like a brighter color or something like that. I get very much like, oh, this is a piece of fabric that I love and it is precious and I will find the perfect thing to put on it. And then I never find the perfect thing because I always just hold on to it. Yep. You should really just start it on that piece of fabric. This isn't so even look, coming out as pretty as it is in person. Yeah, like, flapper is glorious. Yeah, but I have this much left. So I said to Katie, I think maybe I need to go look and see what else Sub Rosa has in there yeah. and see if I could put something or somebody else, you know, but oh man, I love that one. It was such a fun little stitch. And it's one of the nights that I got stupid and stayed up until about four o'clock in the morning because. I was that close. Right, right. So then it was time for me to switch to a whip. I'm going to tell uh, you yes. how we started. Jack-o-lantern. I from, love him. <laughs> yeah, from Sisters and Best Friends. And he is so, so cute. And here's the funny story behind this. So I've been kind of going through my, um, my stash, my floss and stuff. And I found this little ring of flosses and the one on top is hyacinth and you know there's spring grass and black crow burnt orange corn husk grecian gold holly berry oh the holly berry i threw on extra because it was floating around loose but those colors and i didn't have the colors with this and it suddenly hit me oh yeah these two things go together. Ah. So I really was able to work on it. And when I had stopped the last time, all I had was the pumpkin and mm -hmm. I had started this bottom band. I had done all the green, but the purple only about halfway. And- um, Do you need a smaller hoop, mom? Well, it's a tiny piece of fabric. It's fine, it's held in there, I've got it. Everything's and good. Everything's fine. Everything's good. I'm good. <laughs> so I put in, there's a solid line right above the green and purple. Mm -hmm. And I did the stars and the black band last night. Okay. And I was more than a little obsessive. So now what I have left are the letters. And I nice. have to put those cute, cute stars in. And that'll be it. Pumpkin makes me laugh every time. Oh, I love him. I love him. <laughs> I'm just like, that is such a good little pattern. And, mm -hmm. you know, this is one of those crazy scraps that I had left over. So that's right. what Katie is laughing about is that my, it doesn't even fit. Right. It, it's not even attached there, but it's tight. These little Morgan hoops hold things so well. In fact, I had it on and I thought, well, this is a little loose. Yeah, I hadn't even tightened it. It was just the hoop holding it. Huh. I may so, have to invest in one. Um, I'm using the Morgan hoops. I really like them because they have this wing nut. So it's mm -hmm. a brand or a type? It's a, it's a brand. Okay. Uh, they have these little wing nuts and my arthritis fights with me enough that I can't twist. I can't pinch. Huh and twist like you would on a regular hoop so and me in the spring hoop that's like a crazy fun time Boing! so um i don't think i'm supposed to switch because i just switched to this yesterday mm -hmm. which was perfect because i had finished witch on tuesday night right. um i don't switch again until saturday so you may have another finish to show us on Saturday. I might. And if I finish this and or, run out of time. Or she'll just start on the project with <laughs> me. <laughs> but if I finish this and we haven't made it to the cross-stitch shop yet, then I may just pop back over to Yield Crow and see if I can get 
some more stitches in because I love that. Mm -hmm. I think this was finish number. Oh, I don't know if it was 18 or 19 for the year. Mm -hmm. but I don't I'm know, but. Not sure. I haven't been keeping count of mine. I should do that sometime. I should um, count. I used my happy planner and went to the very end of the book and I put, I started a list. Um, nice. and I went back and, and uh, scrolled through our videos uh -huh. and checked out what I had finished when. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. So, and because I'm the keeper of the book, I have things written down in the book. So mm -hmm. most of the time I got through a certain point and I was fine. And then when everything had to get moved and shifted and black needle society blew up then my happy planner was gone for a little bit and our book was gone for a mm -hmm. little bit so i found them both i'm like happy 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 she's happy to have her happy planner <laughs> so it's fun and i have the bigger bigger one for next year which will make things a little easier too yeah so Katie is stitching away. Yes. I am loving this purple. So I don't know if I finished my, my thought earlier. So I pulled all my own colors and I did the, the really variegated one for the horn. But now I'm using Jelly Roll from Crescent Colors and it's like the happiest color. <laughs> it looks like this. Ooh, that is the happy color. <laughs> it really it shows pretty well against my purple huh it does so it shows up really nicely on darker colors saturated colors yeah so yeah my because all my colors are like slightly different so that they show up because as Keisha and I found out after we filmed um so I had splash by PTP which is called for but I had linen and um they called for even weave in the mm -hmm. magazine and even weave just kind of naturally dyes lighter so that's because I was showing her I was like I don't know if you're you're gonna really want this piece because it's dark but you know it is the called for and well your couch decided that I didn't really want that piece and that I should just I, use it in my stash I'm so <laughs> mad I'm like where did it go it's fine. <laughs> okay, so we've had all our plans. You've seen all our progress. We've rambled a little bit. Just a little. Or a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and all the videos are uploaded. So we're like up to date. Caught up. So if we get this one uploaded. I hope you just jinxed it. Then we will be filming on Saturday again. And we'll film our full floss tube then. And, um, then really we'll be all caught up. Yeah. Um, this one might, I might edit and get it ready to upload um, and post tomorrow morning and just like have it auto post tomorrow morning because mom and I are taking a car ride tomorrow. We have to go to a cross stitch shop. That's a long ways away because we have to pick up some stuff for the Black Needle Society. For the advent box. Oh, you can't tell me about that. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be, it'll be fun. We like to take our long car rides. Yes. We actually get a lot of planning done during them. And um, it's, it's how the Black Needle Society came into being and it's how we got our name for it and everything. We yes. sat in the car for two to three hours and, and had to talk to each other because the radio is broken. So, you know, yeah. something's got to entertain us. We do a lot of work in the car. It's it's like our, our place, even the summer during COVID, it was our place where we could say, okay, where can we drive that we're okay, that we can stay in the car? Um, so we have a great love of Smoothie King <laughs> because we would just drive to Smoothie King and wait in line with everybody else and get our smoothies. With and all chat. our vitamins and all of the stuff. Yeah. So, and um, we, we might've been ridiculous enough to drive like three and a half hours south ish of us to go to the cross stitch shop and In have Branson, them yep. and have them carry stuff out to us right as they're closing. Well, no, we were there though. Cause we were dropping off a prize for our show. Well, I'm thinking the first time. Yeah. 
that's when we went there to drop off the prize. Oh yeah, and we but, ran over. But mom had found out that they had Stars Hollow fabric from R and R, and so while we're driving down there, she's calling and she's like, or I had to call for her because I think she was driving at that point, and she was like, I was like, mom says you have Stars Hollow fabric. Do you? What counts do you have? Can you? Can you hold them? <laughs> um and they're awesome those so, ladies are so awesome we were like we're gonna be there at like 358 according to our garmin well you know will you still be there <laughs> and they close at four yes awesome i can't wait to go someday yes so oh, you still haven't been i keep no because the only time that i've been offered to go i was a couple weeks away from having a baby less than two weeks away from having a baby. In fact, <laughs> one of these days, we'll just go Saturday. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> you can't, you have company. No, I can't. My mom's coming this Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> She's not coming for me. She's coming for the baby. <laughs> Hi mom. Keep the baby. Yeah. I'm leaving. Thanks for being the babysitter, mom. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to a cross-stitch shop. <laughs> oh, so we'll do it soon all right okay so this time we really should say goodbye okay <laughs> and then i can i can wave now <laughs> okay bye. bye have a good rest of the day <laughs> <laughs>